I'm all like this, eh? <laughs> Anywhere where they watch this video from, I greet you specially. Make you know say I get respect and I value you. Sharp Ali, Sharp Ali. When I don't do the run of everything, I'm on top of my three sharp updates where you need to hear. <laughs> like this, like this. Now, so the first update what I carry come today is I destroy inside the street of the social media with my keke. <laughs> from then, I be big, 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 big. When did they stop? Now, as you say, on top the cool went up for Gabo yesterday. <laughs> Other people now they are either declared small small. As I declare you so, like this and you so breaking the job for and say, man. <laughs> hey, they are president for Rwanda. He don't retire 12 generals. Yes, now. Nah. <laughs> he don't retire 12 army generals by fire by force. <laughs> you know it's for there, oh. including they are president for Cameroon, Paul B. Another guy, another guy don't be president since 1982 when Shagari in Nigeria. <laughs> But I'll be able to be president for Camino since 1982. He said that he packed that position. Look more for the other one guy put. Like this now, so Paul B and I end up the shuffle the defense uh, system for that in Cameroon. So they said they know one year we're allowed. They know you want any fact. Man, read it. Man, give you full gist. We're not here. What did they stop? How the how other countries don't they respond to this government matter? So just listen and be blessed. <laughs> Before I enter the next matter, just calm down. He said both moves are coming in the wake of the Gabon coup, the latest in a series of military takeovers in Africa. A Wednesday statement by the RDF said President Paul Kagame has retired 83 military pers uh, personnel, including 12 generals. They are 83. <laughs> they include General 121 and the general's name is that one. He said Kagame also approved the promotion and appointment of some officers to replace them kdf added the move takes immediate effect the rwanda president who has been in power since 2000 what is with anything they run for this country so ha is one of the continent's longest serving leaders a 2015 amendment to the country's constitution means he can stay in power until 2034 yeah. <laughs> baba Long may you read. <laughs> he said Rwanda's chief of defense staff uh, also had meetings with so so and so of UA, or, uh, ambassador of UAE to Rwanda and Colonel J E Achu, defense uh, attaché of Cameroon. They discussed ways to enhance defense cooperation between their respective countries. The RDF said in a tweet. Just before RDF statements, Bia announced a reshuffling in the General Africans in the Central African uh, Country's Defense Ministry. Decree appointing officials to the of, uh, to the Ministry of Defense, he wrote in, on Twitter, now known as X. One of the posts changed was the delegate to the presidency in charge of defense, navy, police, and air force staff. The Cameroonian president began his reign in 1982 after a coup, <laughs> while he later allowed for elections after se se severe criticisms of oppression and human rights abuses. Bia, 90 years, 90 years old man, has remained president. 90 years old man said, which kind of leaders, what for the city that they did for this Africa safe? Now, wow. <laughs> When does this move comes as after military officers seize power in Gabon, prompting con uh, condemnation from world leaders and jubilation from residents of the oil-rich Central African nation? Ah, uh, wow. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Anyway, <laughs> now small, small. So, Rwanda now and uh, Cameroon now, they are president, they are, they don't shake small, small. So, Rwanda president, don't they, don't they pass in the year 2000? 23 years for power. Like, yeah. Leader, I say chair, Baba, the rule, Baba, I ain't be ruler. Then, for me, since 1982, you don't depart, you are 90 years old. Okay, what do you define again? We never get since that 1982 thing now. What do you define? We never see. Now, your papa get the office. The people say, now they are blamed. Ha! I beg you, on to our second gist for today. From there, now I carry my keke, so they destroy again for inside the truth of the social media. That is bad. What did they solve? Now I say, ah, palliative, palliative, palliative. What did they happen? Now I say, ah, they don't begin the carry palliative goals on state, 
uh, Quara State, uh, uh, Imo State, and so on. Like, I give like, the full details. So, if you hear your name, just go on a place, go find out where for the sham because now 10 kg bag of rice that they share. We don't know how long that bag of rice will last for this uh, subsidy per little they share. So, if you hear your, your state name, go find out me, uh, carry your own, keep our face. I told you, I told you, bad pass. Listen and be blessed. He say in the north central states, at least 250,000 10 kg bags of rice were shared in the first phase. During the flag off event in Ilorin, the state capital, the Kwara state governor, Abdurrahman Abdurrazak, said the palliatives are only a show of empathy with the people as more sustainable initiatives are being implemented in phases. He was represented by the Speaker of the Kwara State House of Assembly, Yakubu Danladi Salihu. According to the chairperson of the Kwara State Palliative Committee, uh, Ebunolua Rutimi Adelesi, the flag off marked the beginning of the exercise, which would see the palliatives being taken to all the 16 local government areas after agreeing to the modalities with all the stakeholders and the interest groups. Some of the beneficiaries of the event, however, wants the federal government to do more to alleviate the suffering of the masses before we go. Away from Kwara, Imo State also flagged off the distribution of food palliatives procured by the federal government to cushion the effect of the removal of subsidy on residents. The event was held in Oweri, the state capital, with Governor Hope Uzodima saying a committee has been set up headed by the secretary to the state government Cosmos Iwu to ensure that the palliatives get to the masses across the 37, 20, 27 local government areas of the state, irrespective of political affi affiliation or favoritism. He said the, distrib the distribution of the food items, which is a total of 65,000 bags of rice, is the first phase of the efforts by the Bola Tinubu administration in cushioning the effect of the fuel subsidy removal on indigents of the state. Others who attended the event were the leadership of the national of the Nigerian Labour Congress in Imo State and other stakeholders. They hailed the move, saying it was a step in the right direction. The distribution of the 65,000 bags of rice, which have been warehoused in a government facility within the state capital, is expected to commence soon. Anyway, we just go straight to Oyo State. It said 200,000 households to benefit in Oyo. So if you do your state now, redeem yourself, oh, may go carry your own. They say, in your state, Governor Shane McIndy has equally kicked, kick started the distribution of palliatives to poor households in the 33 local government areas of the state. This is in line with the measures put up by the, his administration under the Sustainable Action for Economic Recovery to mitigate the hardship occasioned by the removal of fuel subsidy in the, in the Oyo state. The governor who kicked off the distribution of food relief package at the Obalamidi Adeyemi III Mini Stadium, or your state on Thursday, said 200,000 households will benefit from the food relief support. Governor Mackinde added that the government took its time to plan SIFA, which, according to him, is more than just a palliative. He equally appreciated the residents of the Oyo zone for standing by him during the March 18 governorship election, noting that the high margin of victory recorded in the same was quite commendable. Back on. So, my DGs with this, they don't start now. So, they say this first phase now, 10 kg bag of rice they won't share. So, I beg, if the bag of rice is trying to chop may not finish you. I beg, softly chop them. Make the bag, make the rice for last for your hand. All time, our last juice for today, so come up for there. Ah. I said, make a call house with my keke on. I see jam on that. That be bad. What's it this up? I see. For Gabon, what they for another school yesterday? So, the gist, where they fall out from Gabon like this, like this, now soon. I say, Gabon cool leaders named ousted president's cousin, Bryce Ungwema, as transitional president. Come, I've been saying that guest sense before. Now, this gist, I be saying, the people where they do, where do the coup for Gabon yesterday now. The pre the person they don't put in charge now as the transition president will go take charge of Gabon before they transition back to democratic rule again. They go see collect their that uh, uh, Alibongo cousin. 
Now, another family not did that Gabon with these things. Now, be quiet on that question, they ask him. So, for the full Gabon, now only that uh, Ali Bongo family right there to feel little now. Obama, where Obama young? Obama young, your family, where your family, your family, your family not did that, not did Gabon. Why they not go carry for that side? If the last one I come, I will call Obama young. After all, Chesno is a playboy again. Just know the cuckoo use and play. When I go carry over my young, make only do now. Who shall be saying the one carry transitional president? I see go carry Ali Bongo brother, a hey, cousin. Now, wow. Anyway, my my give you know, the Fujis. Listen and be blessed. He said, the former head of Gabon's most powerful security unit, the Gabonese Republican Guard, Bryce Ongwema, has been named transitional president by the coup leaders. According to a statement read on national television on Wednesday, Ngwema was appointed chairman of the Committee for the Transition and Restoration of Institutions. General Bryce Uligui Ngwema was unanimously appointed chairman of the Committee for the Transition and Restoration of Institutions. President of the Transition, the statement said following a meeting of all military com uh, commanders and chief of staff. General Ngwema, the former head of the country's most powerful security unit, the Gabonese Republican Guard, an independent military form, uh, formation responsible for protecting government officials and buildings is reportedly is reportedly a cousin of the deposed president Ali Bongo Gabon Y. According to the statement, Ngwema ordered the restoration of internet services as well as the signals of international radio and television channel in Gabon shortly after taking office. Ngwema earlier said on Wednesday that it a meeting of military generals will start at the 1400 GMT to decide the transition leader for the country. Ngwema, the son of a military officer, attended the Royal Military Academy of uh, Meknes in Morocco. He then served as an aide de camp to the Assad leader's father, Omar Bongo who ruled Gabon for nearly 42 years until his death in, 20, in uh, 2009. After Ali Bongo took over power in 2009, Ngwema was posted to Morocco and Senegal for diplomatic missions. He returned a decade later to command the guard. The announcement said that Ngwema insisted on the need to maintain calm and serenity in our beautiful country. As we enter a new era, we will guarantee peace, stability, and dignity for our beloved Gabon. On Saturday, authorities had reportedly ordered an internet shutdown as voting ended in presidential, parliamentary, and local elections to avoid the risk of violence and the spread of disinformation. Back on, uh, the gist will come after that Gabon. I don't know, I don't know which kind of be this one. No. We will say you come up, you say you not for person. You not come up. I want to say the family that they rule now for over 53 years. Okay, now don't come up that family now. When I put a person as transition president and I go carry a cousin put. So then which means when I don't fully transition to the uh, new demo, uh, democracy back again uh, when I go carry probably in Hilo as a new president. When I wise oh. Uh. And it just what I get to my three sharp update for today. Uh. Anyway, just thank God for everything.